Sarif. I'm the writer and director of movies that you may be familiar with, I Can't Think Straight and The World Unseen. At least I hope you're familiar with them. And I'm Hanan Kattan, producer of both films, and uh, the wife of Shamim and the mother of our boys. How lucky is she? Very. Uh, <laughs> on me. Uh, today we are starting a new video blog series with After Ellen and we're extremely excited about that. A lot of you have been very kindly following my written blogs on my site and on Facebook for some time now, but this is the first time we're able to do a video blog for you and we're very excited to be partnering with After Ellen in this. Uh, we're also going to take you on a journey of uh, filmmaking, being a couple, married together, working together, having children, the challenges and the fun and the excitement of uh, the behind the scenes and the movie making. Um, next we're going to be going to New York for a festival um, that's screening The House of Tomorrow. And then after that we're going to Toronto for a few days uh, to be with Lisa Ray. Uh, we're working on a new TV show with her, so we'll spend a few days with her. Now Lisa, you might know, has played uh, Amina... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, she no. was Sheetal. I was Sheetal, sorry. Uh, so Lisa, as you know, Lisa, as you know, has played Miriam in The World Unseen, and Tala and I Can't Think Straight. And uh, we're going to bring Sheetal in here for an interview one of these days as well, just to set the record straight. Uh, but in the meantime, for this, for this show, we wanted to just give you a kind of introduction, because a lot of people ask us, how did we get here to start with? We've been together for 16 years. Wonderful years. Thank you, for me too, uh, since I was five. And, um, <laughs> and we've, uh, you know, we've built a career as filmmakers, and we're very lucky to have done that. So, but a lot of people say, well, how did that all start? So I can tell you that the way it started was something like this. Carla, meet Leila. Hello. Mm, sorry to break your British reserve, but we always kiss in Jordan. Usually just before we slit your throat. <laughs> but I guess really, fundamentally, what brought us to the place is more like this. You made me think. Yeah? About what? About, thank you, why we follow certain paths. Is it just expectation or conditioning? Picture it. A woman from a Palestinian-Jordanian background not a part of the world famous for its uh, civil partnerships or gay marriage yet. And uh, for my part, somebody from an Indian Muslim background. And uh, my best friend at the time wanted to find a suitable girl to marry from his community and uh, he introduced us together. But there's definitely the attraction, the interest, the, the affection was more um, between us than between Shamim and him. So Hanan, was it worth it? Oh. Every second of it was worth it. it was Very okay. much so. It was all right. There's nothing wrong with it. I haven't got not, Jeddah I'm like I'm trying to say is... Just listen to I me. I'm Oliver. gay! What did I miss? I'm gay. But I've only been gone two hours. It wasn't really like that. Well, not quite. Uh, movies have their own reality, but it wasn't quite the truth of what we experienced. Um, Certain elements were, but not all of it. We had immense trouble with our families, immense issues, and but in the end, we realised that what was really important was building our life that moved forward, that thought differently from the previous generation, um, and that meant that we could be together. That's right. And just as they got used to us being together as a couple, we had to make it harder and went and had kids. So Ethan is 13 and Luca is 9 and a couple of high-spirited boys are more than a handful after a long day at Enlightenment Productions headquarters, <laughs> but, um, but absolutely worth every minute and there are moments when we just look at them and we know life could never be the same without them. Uh, I have those moments every night when I look at them and they're fast asleep, I don't know about Especially you. Especially when they're fast asleep. <laughs> um, and if you had told me that on top of a, an amazing uh, personal relationship that I'd be one day making movies. Um, about the subjects that I wanted to make them about, distributing in the way that we wanted to and with the creative control that we always dreamed of, I would have frankly laughed. So, but the movies are for another blog, for the next blog. But thank you. I hope you'll take the time to comment below and just let us know if there's anything particular that you'd like to see from us or any discussions that you'd like us to have um, on topics that, that would relate to things that you're interested in. And uh, not, not Lisa Ray's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, 
and uh, thank you. Thank you and see you next week. Bye.